Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get rid of the extra partition that you might encounter when you're trying to remove volumes from a hard drive. So we have this drive here, so it has a data drive on it, 100 gigabytes, and it has a 600 megabyte uh, system partition. So if we right click it, we don't have any options. If we right click this, uh, we could delete the volume. And of course that's going to delete all the data on it, so be aware of that. Alright, so now we want to get the 600 megabytes back but we can't because if we right click this we only have the options for new volumes and right click this we still don't have anything we can't shrink or extend it all right so what we're going to be using is a free tool called Niubi partition editor uh, this program does lots of stuff but it'll come in handy for this situation here okay so we have our drive here with our 99 gigs that we saw here and then here's the 600 megabyte partition that we want to get rid of, or actually merge into this one, I should say. And then we have a little space needed here for the for GPT. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to right click on this extra space here, choose resize, move volume. And so you can see here we have a little slider. We could actually shrink it down to 325, but watch what happens if we increase it. So this is 99.6. Drag it across here. 99.9 .9 now. We have a little bit of unallocated space left over here from before. But now we got this 600 megabytes back, so we'll click on OK. So it's going to lock the volume. So once it's done, you have to click on Apply, otherwise it's not going to take effect until you do so. Let me close uh, disk management here. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so now let's go back into disk management. And now you can see we have the 100 gigabytes back and that 600 megabyte extra partition is gone. So then IUBI will show some unallocated space here in the GPT section here that disk management doesn't, but at least we have that 600 megabytes back. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Niobe Partition Editor uh, like I said, they have the free home edition, and it does a lot more than what you just saw here, so it's a good app just to have on your computer for these kinds of problems. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.